doing? I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, so, wait, it's like the seal, bro. Ugh, whatever. I'll do this like that. So, I got tested today. Um, I'm sick. <laughs> and I have a trip tomorrow, so a girl gotta be fine for sure. Um, what is it? My entire family has been having like una gripe. So, um, we got tested like last week because like my mom, my dad, my little sister were sick, and now is when I'm getting sick. So we all tested negative but i was like i'm not gonna risk it let's go get tested we gotta be responsible so i got tested today now since we're going on a trip tomorrow we're going like i think no i think it's on saturday we're going to a water park so my dad my mom was like oh can you like you know buy her like some stuff like the bathing suit the shoes because my sister's really picky like she doesn't like textures she's a really interesting child i love her um so yeah i have to go get her shoes and clothes and whatever a little shopping for my baby sister um i also want to spoil myself for a little bit i want to change my jewelry for my nose i don't like it i mean i like it i love it like you know how it looks but i just wish like it looks tacky to me um because it's like not gold and like i only wear gold and like that's my only soap <coughs> <coughs> that's my only silver thing sorry guys so i want to do that um what else Oh, I'm so happy. I have to apply for my graduation. They officially sent me my email. They were like, okay, like, you know, like, you gotta apply for graduation for July. I only have two classes left. Like I told you guys, I'm doing double major. I'm doing psychology and criminology. So I'm excited for that. It's gonna be a big accomplishment. Um, my parents are leaving, like, in a month out of state and i'm staying here just because i love miami i'm probably gonna get an efficiency which i'm okay with it like it's by myself like it's me and myself so um i'm fine with it but i obviously want them to like you know leave and i like, graduated so like they're proud of me and honestly this bachelor um it's been difficult like my especially my psychology one like it's been difficult but i got this i got this i know i got this i've been working my ass off so and um, my my criminology um honestly it was so easy i loved it um it was just pretty smooth to me like i didn't have to like you know work as hard because i really liked it so um i finished like that like i'm only missing psychology my two classes are for psychology my other um and i already finished my my criminology one so yeah um what else i'm currently not working and i'm not broke but i'm broke because i want to save my money to my little efficiency and to not like two months that i'm fine and then like you know be able to get a good job and stuff mm. so yeah that's like my main plan right now um yesterday there's a little private but whatever like you know a lot of people are going through stuff and i feel like it's more than you know like if you can relate to me that's great and um this is why i did a youtube channel to be open about everything and talk about my life because it makes me feel good um so um 
something about me is that not a few months ago I started taking my depression pills I've never suffered from depression um but like a couple months ago not a couple like a few months ago I was um in a really bad place of mind I guess and I started getting depressed I wasn't like I was drinking a lot and I still drink I like drinking but it was excessively like too much and um so they prescribed me depression pills and this month has been rough like I'm telling you oof, roughest month of my life like I got into a car accident my grandma got sick um I wouldn't like to say boy problems but you know because I'm a really detached person but at the same time I'm not so I might detach from someone but I'm just still in the back of my mind and you know it hurts obviously but I just don't talk about it like I just don't really like put my energy into it but obviously like my mind still thinks about whoever it is and it kind of frustrates me because it's like bitch you're so smart, so pretty, you do all of this, why you still have a month in the back of your mind, like, it's just pointless, but I do, and nothing, all of that together is just, like, a lot, and then yesterday, I haven't, like, I've been forgetting about my pills, so I haven't been taking it on time, and, like, I take it one day, good time, another day, I don't take it in a good time, and stuff like that so yesterday like i took it but once you stop taking it and you take it you feel so much more like the sadness like it gets you more depressed but if you take it like regularly it doesn't get you like it helps you it kind of numbs your feelings um so yesterday um i'm a really big cry like i cry because my friends give me a gift but I cry for everything like I'm baby cry like so that was one of my problems like when I was taking the pill I couldn't cry like I wasn't crying and that frustrates me because when I cry I let my feelings go you know and whatever yesterday happened the opposite I started taking the pill and I was working out, you know, doing my own thing. I was like, yes, let's get this weight. Let's get this muscles, like, you know, motivated and stuff. And um, I put a song, like, I was listening to the EDM song. So, like, you know, usually that shit doesn't get me sad at all. I'm good. But, no, it got me sad. <laughs> And I started crying, and I'm like, I can't cry, like, in the movies, you know, like, super dramatic. Like, I can't cry, like, oh, or I can cry literally, like, my tears just come out. And so, yeah, I was working, I was doing arms, and I started crying. And like that, like, tears coming out, but no, like, face expressions or anything like that. then I couldn't take it anymore like I was like too like full of emotions and I was like I need to cry like cry cry so I go to the bathroom and I bawled my eyes out literally and this girl like she was coming before me so she kind of heard me like mm, you know and she's like oh like she kind of like stay because you know the gym is like divided in two so the locker rooms and the where you wash your hands she noticed so she did like she went through the wall like where you wash your hands and then she went to the locker to check on me and i was bawling my eyes out um and she was like she came up to me she gave me a hug and she's like are you okay like please tell me are you okay you're so beautiful like i don't like i wonder why you're crying but if you know if you need someone to talk to like you can talk to me and you know those are the kind of people that you're like wow like 
I'm so thankful that there's still people like you that care about other people they don't even know. And I was like, oh, you know, thank you so much. I'm okay. Like, don't worry about it. I was like, you're so beautiful too. And if you're seeing this girl, you're amazing. Like, you deserve the world. I'm telling you. Like, you deserve the world. And nothing I got out. I, like, kind of stopped crying. Like, I don't know. That hug, like, it really helped me. So I just stopped crying. I got out. I started working out, doing my thing, going harder. I was like, I'm going to look like a fan ass. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And um, I was a little mad, too. So I was, like, dropping weights here and there. Like, pop, pop, pop. <laughs> but it was fine. Like, I finished my workout. I went to school. Um, my TA was amazing. He helps me out so much. I love him. If you're seeing this, you're amazing TA. You help me like crazy. Like I'm so glad you're there and you're the nicest, sweetest person ever. Um, after that, I finished and I felt like I didn't fully finish my workout, so I was like, I'm gonna go back again. I went back. I did some app workouts. I did some. Um, what is it? I did some abs. I did some, a little bit of arms. Because the shit I was doing back on arms. So I finished them. And, um, what is it? Um, a lot of people complimented my hair yesterday. And it makes me so happy. Because it's like, you know, like I saw one of my boys and my, and, like some of my boys I saw them and they were like bro like you rock it like it looks so good I'm like thank you so much like you're literally making my day I left like around 11 I went home I showered um I cuddled with my dogs because because um today we were taking them to the to the farm so they can train them so I just wanted to spend a little time with them so the three of us just cuddled in my bed and watched a movie we watched sabotage amazing and let me tell you sofia's vergara's husband oh chef kiss that's literally my type that's what i want that's what i want that's what i want my husband to look like big hairy beer like that masculine energy Oof, that's what i need in my life so i'm waiting for that man so that man doesn't show up i don't want it <laughs> And I think I had a great night. I feel so much better. Um, I woke up this morning thinking that I was going to take the dogs. I know my dad took them really early in the morning. Um, I woke up around 12. Um, I talked to my 